Hey everyone, this is Priya. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be showing you all the coding of our shopping app that we have created in Coda.org. So in a previous video, I have already taught you that how to design that app. Again today I'm gonna be teaching you all the coding part. Okay. Now see, um, today like I'll be explaining you the coding part. Okay. Because um, we have to do like we have to do uh, so many code. We have to do forty nine lines of code. Okay, so that's why it's the thing. So I'll be just explaining you. And if you have any doubt or if you are not able to create it, then you can like ping me in my Discord server. Okay, so you can like um join my Discord server by the link mentioned in description box. As soon as you join it, then you can ask all the doubts. You'll be getting all the images, all the edges, all the background colors and all. Okay, so yeah, now let me explain you the coding part. First thing I've taken is I've taken the control. Okay, here's the option of set timeout. So I've just dragged it and dropped it here. And in UI controls, I've taken the set screen. So I've taken it here and I've made it as screen number two, which is this one. Okay, next thing I've taken is variable. So I've gone here and here. I've what I've done? I have taken this thing, the first one, where I've just changed its x to value, and here I mentioned zero. Okay, next I've come down UI controls and there's the option of set text. This one. So you have to drag it and drop it here. And I change it to label 16. Um because uh yeah. Here you guys, this is a label number six six. Okay. So I've changed it to label number six. And then I've what I've done. In the set text, uh where I have to put this text now, then I have uh, put in total in one column plus value plus rupees, like that. Next, what I have to do, okay, yeah. Next, I have uh, taken that on event block again. And next, I have done the coding for a button number five. This is add to cart. Okay, so there I have again uh, come down variables. And here, I have dragged and dropped this third one. And I have changed the x to value. And next, what I have done in this, uh, in this space, I have written value plus the amount that is uh, the amount of the product that is the 30 rupees then what I've done I've just come down show text and then I've just duplicate this on even to this thing I've duplicated it and I have just pasted it till three times because the code is same for all the products the thing that we have to change is the buttons ID okay and the amount okay like uh, in this button number six you can see uh, it is of 20 rupees so i've changed the amount to 20 and i've changed the buttons id cool for the uh, same for button 8 and button number 7 and all next thing is what okay yeah we have done uh, till button number 7 next uh what we have i've done i've done the coding of this button 10 which is go to cart for that i've just dragged again that on even block and then i've taken set screen also okay next i have again come down here controls and I've taken the set text, I've pasted it here and I've put in it and I've changed it to label number 18. Label number 18 for what? This is my screen 6 and this is the label 8. So I've taken this one. And next I've taken this button uh, which says you to place order. So after taking that, I've taken set text and I've changed to label number 18. And I've changed the text to total plus value plus, plus rupees. Or else you guys can like come on show text and you can copy this thing only, this code only. Okay, next thing is that I have again dragged and dropped this on event and I have taken button 3. Button 3 for this place order. Okay, and then I have set my screen to screen number 4 which is this one. And this screen is for all the credit details to deliver the orders at the time. Okay, uh, now what I want to do, uh, next I have taken this um, button 11 which says place order. Then I've come down data and I've created one record. Okay, by clicking here, I've dragged this thing and dropped it here. And I've changed my table's name to customer's information. And uh, next in the and name is same and there it there was Alice actually. So what I've done, I've come down UI controls and the get text one. I've dragged it and dropped it here in the place in the space of Alex. Alex, okay, whatever the name was. Next thing I've done is that I've just copied this whole code and I've put in it here for email, for phone and for address. Okay, and for order amount also. So what I've done, I've just changed the IDs. I've changed the phone's ID to 
uh, text input 3 uh, email id to text input 2 and address to text input 4 okay next thing is that uh, i have taken this order amount also for this label the, the order amount should be displayed here now so for that i have taken the deck okay here you guys can see uh, it is of label 8 and I have displayed label 8 here. Now next what I have done. So there uh, and then, then I have taken the set screen. Okay set screen to screen number 5 where it says continue shopping. And then if anyone will click tap here. This is our button number 12 you can see. I have taken on even block again and I have changed the ID to button 12. And then what I have done. I have taken the set screen block and I have put it here. And now I end up putting the idea set screen to one. So when anyone will click on set screen, uh, then they will redirect here. Now here you can see that there is the button also, but I have, uh, but I, but it is not visible because I have made it as hidden. Okay. Now what I want when and when anyone will click on the continue shopping, then they will redirect on my screen number one. Yes. And then as soon as they redirect, then I want this button to be get showed. So that everyone can see. It should be visible. For that, I have dragged and dropped the show element block. From here, you guys can see it. Uh, yeah. Show element. Here you guys can see this block. I have dragged and dropped it here. And I have changed it to button 1. Because I want this button 1 to be visible. Then what I've taken, I've again take the on event block and then I've done the coding for this button 1. Then if anyone will click on button 1, then I want them to be redirect on our screen number 2. Here, okay. And next I've done the coding for our last button, that is button number 4. So if anyone will click on button number 4, that is back, then they will again redirect on screen number 1. And then, uh, then I want this uh, button 1 to be get visible again. Okay, and then if anyone will click here, I want them to be uh, set screen 2. Okay, like this. Now, um, let's run our app and see is it working or not. Let's tap here. Click on add to card. You can see price uh, is 30 rupees. I can add this. I can add. I can add. So, it's 110. I can click on go to card. I can click on place order. Okay, I have to input my all the details. Okay, so I can't show you them. So, I'm just like pausing my video. So here you guys can see that I put in my wrong details here. I put in name, uh, this email, contact number and addresses, uh, some random letters. I can click on place order. As soon as I click here, then here you'll be seeing the screen. It says your order has been successfully placed. You will receive order details in a registered phone number and email address. So if like if you are a seller and you want to sell your products, then you can like uh, mail, mail your customers uh, and all those things you can do. Then you can click on continue shopping. You can see now this button is visible. If I click I'll redirect it. If I can click it, I'll redirect it. So you have seen we have done with our app. And if, if any doubts, please ask me in Discord. And yeah, I'll be very happy to last. So do ask me your all doubts in, in my Discord server by the link mentioned in the description box. Okay? And yeah, like if you uh, want hold this code, if you want my app's AIA file. Then also I'll provide you that in my Discord server. So make sure you join that. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye.